equilibrium involving dissolution of solid in liquid. If we consider a salt added to water forming salt solution, this particular experiment can be explained in three ways. If I am taking a vessel containing water, if I am taking the salt added to this particular one in less than its solubility, in the quantity less than its solubility. Or second case one will be case two greater than the solubility and case three equal to solubility. The amount of salt that is dissolved or that is added to the water such that the solution now contains the amount of salt is less than its solubility, greater than solubility, equal to solubility. We call this type of solutions are called as unsaturated solutions. Unsaturated solutions. These type of solutions are called as supersaturated solutions. Supersaturated solutions. And these type of solutions are called as saturated solutions. And very interesting point over here is the solutions which are at equilibrium. That means when you talk about the solutions which are in equilibrium, these are the solutions which are at equilibrium. Solution at equilibrium. When I say equilibrium, there should be two components which are in constant composition. What are those which are in constant composition? When you add the dissolved form of the salt and undissolved form of the salt. So the undissolved salt in water, the undissolved form of the salt which is the solid form of the salt is in equilibrium with the dissolved form of the salt the dissolved salt in the solution which is aqueous so the composition which remains constant at a given temperature the composition which remains constant at a given temperature will be the undissolved salt and dissolved salt will be in equilibrium with each other and that solution is said to be saturated solutions now, if you take the concentration of the solute in a saturated solution depends upon the temperature. A saturated solution, a dynamic equilibrium exists between the solute molecules in its solid state and in the solution. So, the sugar which is in equilibrium with the solid form of the sugar, the dissolved form and undissolved form, the rate of dissolution of sugar is equal to the rate of crystallization of sugar. Solubility of cons, uh, solid remains constant at a given temperature that is the equilibrium